she wants to bust on it. Can you want to tell me what do we know that we don't know? What did Nama, what did Mamma Bad and Mamma Bad went to do in Alamali house? It is beyond beg. I don't want to believe that it's just to go and beg in Alamali. Beg for what? Why not one of them going? Why two of them? Because there are the two parents alive. Why two of them? You need them to know something. Naramani needed them to know something. What is that thing that they know? What is going on? <laughs> you see, this case is all over the places. And that's why it paints me when, when I see anybody submitting themselves under Joseph Alo Aloba. You should try to help Joseph Aloba and help the younger people who are suffering in the society from this same kind of similar stuff by making sure that Joseph Aloba does the right thing. Not all this pampering. Not all this pampering. We ask simple questions, simple questions. It becomes a problem. Okay? Again, I will say this. Nobody should... Nobody, like, don't focus on all these kids, okay? Trying to create some kind of groups, okay? Just so move out is one movement okay and just for mobad we all want one thing to see those who killed mobad arrested and to have the rule of law take its course okay and if possible let this be a defining moment all of us want that but what some don't want what some want that others don't want is maybe in the areas of trying to exploit the public using this opportunity we want the same thing in terms of justice that nobody's anti-justice Okay, but in, I mean in the, in, the, in the movement right now, nobody's anti justice. Okay, but it shows that some persons also want to exploit the public. It is in this case I know that accountability is a, is a bad thing. I've always known in my life that accountability is a good ethic, it's a good thing. But it is in this case that I know that accountability is something bad. Hmm? Tell me how much they need that they don't have, that one person cannot give them. They just want random money to keep flowing in, random money to flow in. All the things they are mentioning, tell them how much is the price. Autopsy, 400,000 naira. Okay? Autopsy toxicology. If it's too much, maybe 1.2 million. Too much, okay? Because 800,000 naira is toxicology. Autopsy is 400,000, 1.2 million naira. Okay? What again? Lawyer, how much did they get lawyer? Before they said 25 million. Now they say 10 million. We don't know. And again, they said they went to borrow money to get lawyer. Just to get money out of you. Why didn't they go to Berekete? To get lawyers. Don't break it. They have many lawyers. Are they not working together? I thought they were working together. And these are questions that when you ask, they, they feel bad. Okay? We have established that in the abuja that Baba Mubad went, they said Gurezi slapped Baba in his neck and threatened to use cop to stone the man. So, the law, the law says if you assault a person and anything happened to that person, one year and a day you bear full responsibility. So we hope nothing happened to Baba Mubad. We hope nothing happened to him. But if in case anything happened to him, the rest thing is a first suspect. Okay? Because it has been established that he slapped the man on the neck. And there are witnesses. Okay? And we see that the man is under threat. The man is under hostage, under threat. The man can't speak. We don't know what they are holding against that man. We don't know what they are doing to him. But we know that with time, a lot of things will be clear to us. Whether it's the man that has committed the crime or that they are using his maybe his bekus, his nyash, to tell him that they would post it to, or something that he has done, or maybe three some whatever, all of those stuff they're talking about. Uh, maybe that's what they're using to control him, but the man is under control. Okay? We, we are free people, we are free thinkers, we can talk about anything. There's nothing anybody can do to us. There's nothing anybody can do to us. They know very well when they are it. They can do no shit. And I let time you let time you but any shit can come. You know so and I know so. We both know so. But if you can do something, do something, let us see now. They can't do no shit. Because I like to deal people. I like people to do something. I like to make people understand that they can do no shit. You can only yell, I swear, I swear to the creator that created you, Ole Shekanka. You know very well, very, very well. And if you want to go, you can be punished on it. To bad boys, you want to punish Punish your generation. I'm a why they delay. I'm a why 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 I'm we are saying that uh, we want the right thing to be done and we know what we are demanding for. We know what we are demanding. Okay? So, again, we will continue to say these things. We are still here. We are not going anywhere. 
they have played us. The same delegate is doing autopsy, right? So they, they want to do their own autopsy. They want more money. But they say, don't contribute uh, any money at all to anybody. But they some come back, contribute money, contribute money. Mm -hmm, no, Allah. At the end of this month, we expect to see two autopsy results. One, we want the director to announce what killed Mubad from his own chamber. Abish, na chamber been a studio <laughs> for his own center or human rights radio and television from his own television. And Baba Mubad, Baba Mubad to our television. We have Mubad that uh, chamber, be that TikTok page, na chamber. So Mubad that to go read the own autopsy, we think he'll bad. And then we go kind of go inquest, go say to the ma. You know, pass like that. We are trying to see that things are done rightly. Nobody should should play on our intelligence. Nobody should do that. Should do that because we will charge the Nigerian people, and they will demand for this. They will come for you. That is a, that is a simple thing. The, the, the Nigerian people will not allow this to happen. There's so much emotion that has been placed in this, and we will do everything possible to see that we teach all of these guys some lessons. Most of you have obstructed justice who have continued to cause chaos in this case. You will be punished. Okay, you will be punished. It's a promise. And there's nothing you can do about that. You will be punished. You know, I said this all the time categorically because I understand what it's going to be like. I have seen it. It's, it's, Elani is open to me. I've seen it. I just, I just look at those who don't have minds on their own, who cannot see. Those who cannot understand, who have ear, they can't understand. They have been fooled. You can ask simple question. I was here asking a question. I said, in the case of a, a Sylvester or Romani, if you follow very well that case, the parents of Sylvester, they conducted an autopsy on their son, Sylvester, both toxicology. They didn't need any court order. They didn't need any court order. Okay? In the case of Bamiche, that lady that was raped in the BRT bus, that was killed and body was thrown, that lady and Mubad share almost the same similarity. Their bodies was found nine days after. Mubad body was exhumed nine days after he was killed. That lady, nine days after she was killed. Okay? And in the case of the BLT girl, that is um, Bamishe Ayomoli, okay? The Lagos state government, they were in control of the body. The body was under the Corona district. And the family of the, of Bamishe, they told the government, Come, you can't do any autopsy on this our lady until we go and bring our own private pathology. We want to know what and what you are doing in the body of our deceased. This person is our child. Okay? That full right they have it and it was granted to them. The government have to wait for them to go and bring their own private pathology. Then they bring their own, they carry the body from the mug. The sister of this girl has come here and she's always here. Bamishe sister, if you are here in the live stream, please send the request, come up. Okay, if you are here, come up. Now, so this condition the government that the government will not do anything on the body. And that is within their rights. People should go and read the law. We have citizens' rights. We have parents' rights. People should know where to act. Alright? You don't have to be a lawyer to know the law of your country. You must not be a pastor to know the Bible. This is not supposed to be like that. So now they went to get um they went to get their own private pathology. It was the foundation who even gave them the pathology. And they came, they took the body from the morgue, the mortuary, and they take it to the laboratory under the supervision of the uh, chief medical. Okay? Those ones, they take their own sample. The government took their sample. They send it abroad. Why in the Bamiche case, okay, and why the private pathology, they, they, they took their own, and they do it in their own laboratory in Nigeria, yeah. And the result come out, and the man who raped that Bamiche, because there's evidence now, and the results are similar. The man has been charged that same, like, I think that same, uh, about two weeks after the death of the guy. The man was arrested. The name is, uh, is the man is from Delta State, Ominic Andrew Ominicoron. The man has been in police custody since two and a half years right now, no bail. He was in court last month, and the next court hearing is um, October 17. And the police did very well in that case. A round of applause for the Nigerian police. A round of applause. People should follow case. People don't know nothing about these things. They just open, they don't follow cases. The BRT bus driver, Andrew Minikorum, was charged by the Nigerian Police Legal State Command for murder. Straight. That the man killed that lady one. Secondly, the man was charged for conspiracy. They are still looking for others. That others conspired with him. One, that is two. Thirdly, the man was charged 
with rape on two counts. If you rape in Lagos State, it's life imprisonment. So somebody who this man has raped before, that's Nena. Nena also came, said that this man raped me. Okay, on, on a different time. And they also take that case against the man. That's four count charge. Lagos State Police Command. How will this man come out from this? This is a case of death already. It's a case of death by hanging. You see? Yeah, in Lagos. <laughs> now, I now ask a question. I said, in all of the autopsy that has been done before, families have right to do autopsy without court order. Which law in Nigeria? If you're a barrister, if you're a son, and a senior advocate of Nigeria, and you're here, we want to know, please, which law in Nigeria can I go and read? Can you refer me to? That says that the father or the parents of a deceased cannot do autopsy on the body of their son or of their family member that they have to go and bring court order don't forget we still want to do this is january so we said that we have risen to the court court has not answered us who tell us we have to go to the court that is another delay strategy another delay tactics they have delay my bad body see you they know that nobody can find anything again okay now they now say go and do autopsy now they have checked very well that you can find nothing now they now say go and do autopsy all the time you have been asking for the they did like they didn't hear. Same place where you went that you were rejected. Now they said now you can go and do it. <laughs> Aye. <laughs> Aye. People don't understand. People, yeah, people don't have sense to think. <laughs> See, you know where the problem is, right? Just like you were talking about with respect to Baba Mobad. I think it's because they they think they are fooling the public. Let me analyze something for you here, right? Now the death of Mubad from the start, any person that uh, was connected to the death of Mubad, like people that were with him, names were mentioned, all those people that came out to give uh, false stories and then come back to contradict themselves. All of these persons were supposed to have been arrested for alleged murder of Mubad. This will include, including the wife, including even the father, and the other persons around. Now, when you arrest somebody for uh, offense of murder, you take this person to the station. If you take a person to the station for normal offenses, the, the, the station can uh, grant him bail, or he or she bail, right? But if it is a capital offense, you have to take the person to the court it is not the station that will release those people on bail. It is the court that is supposed to release those people on bail pending conclusion of investigation. And the condition for releasing these people on bail, now you now come to the Administration of Criminal Justice Law of Lagos State with respect to capital offenses, which says the only condition that you, you, you release somebody on bail uh, in the capital offense is when the person has a, a, a has an health in health situation the person is sick and the prison uh, facility where the person was detained don't have enough enough uh, equipment to treat that kind of sickness that's number one and then secondly the issue of uh, the unnecessary delay in investigation activities for uh, over one year by law and by diligence knowing the proper thing the police if they do i think maybe there is even something like that if the police have arrested any person connected to the death of mobad it is officially an arrest for alleged murder none of those persons were supposed to have been released if not by a court and the court will not release these persons just like that. It has to be on special circumstance because the offense is a capital offense. If that was the situation, all this nonsense that has been happening, trying to waste time and all of that, they would have been the one trying to speed up the investigation. They would have been the, the ones that, that, that we will find a way to even double the speed to conduct this autos or uh, this autopsy long time ago baba mubad would, uh, would, would would not be here for us to be saying he's not serious because he would have also been there 
as one of the suspects. And if he knows he, he does not have anything doing, he will not have uh, uh, connected to the case. He wouldn't. He, would, he wouldn't have been. Uh, he would not have allowed anything to be delayed the way it is now. So the, 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 the position that these people are even outside is even an error. It's a complete error. The police does not need any person to write petition for the alleged uh, murder of Mubad assistance. The, the police does not, need, does not need any person, even if the family of Mubad, they said they are not putting down a petition. It's, it does not concern the authority. So how, what is, what is going on? How is it that these guys have been uh, allowed to, like, I don't, I, I, they are just freely moving, doing whatever they are doing. I don't understand what is, what is going on. They are just, they are just playing around. They don't, they, they, maybe they think everybody is a fool or, you know, sometimes fools be, will always want to take other persons as fools. The police don't know that they, they, they are supposed to have arraigned with me and the other persons at before a magistrate, pending when the uh, uh, proper charge will be uh, heard at the high court. And then the magistrate will be the one to give conditions. The magistrate at that point will have jurisdiction to even revoke the bill where there is any kind of a fishy play. It within all this month that they are misbehaving, doing all of these things. I, I, I'm very sure like three or four of them would have been, they, they have, their bill would have been revoked. And there will be nothing they will be doing outside that they will not do cautiously. So why are these guys not on arraignment at the magistrate level? The, the process in the corona uh, uh, inquest now is still part of investigation. That is also an investigation activity. So when you arrest somebody you, for a capital offense, you, you take that person to prison, first of all. File a remand, uh, you, a remand proceeding against the person. The person will be remanded pending when this matter will come up properly. Pending the conclusion of investigation at the corona inquest there. Every, if that is the case, they would have been the ones running up and down to do the autopsy and all, all what they want to do. That is if they do not have any hands in it. But the authority have decided to leave them to do whatever they like. To the extent that they, they, they have certain gods to be making some kind of, like, making statements like citizens who are supposed to be freely moving, which is not supposed to be the case. Because when you when you commit an offense, when you commit a, when you, are, you have been arrested for an alleged crime, you, you, the, those rights they are talking about is no longer there again. There are certain rights. There are certain rights that that particular offense that you have been arrested for, that that, that particular proceeding will wave away all those rights, including the issue of this DNA. The, 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 the court would have even been able to have a say. But these guys are freely coming from their home, doing whatever they want to do. I am, I am very sure that they are just trying to buy time. They are, they, are, they are yet to, because they know that the public is on this matter. So they are trying their best to create a kind of excuse or a way out. And when any time they sit down to deliberate, someone will definitely tell them no, what if they come from this angle? What if they go through this place to ask so so person? Then the whole proceeding for that, their particular uh, 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 dubious plan will, will now scatter and then they start looking for another one. So they are looking for more and more and more days. You think because uh, you are the father of a child, his spirit cannot cause you or his, his spirit cannot harm you? Whoever you are, whether you are a pastor, you are a imam or prophet or whatever. Something happened to your son. The public solidly stood behind you to do the right thing and then you are following certain persons to just play around with people's intelligence. Or, you, or let me say you, are, you think you are playing around with people's intelligence.
there to be some persons are talking about uh, DNA right to do the what the look if it is if it is me <laughs> for <laughs> let's say something happened to my brother and my and his wife if they have something they mention what you concern me with police or any other this thing if i don't bother you throw you inside go do that dna test and some some very uh, 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 irresponsible uh, women out there they will, be, they will be there supporting the nonsense that is going on. What is there to do? What what is how has doing a DNA become a big deal? When Mobad died, before this whole issue of DNA started, you be, you were, they were lamenting up and down because of the support they are they are getting from the public. Upon the, the, the bringing this issue out now, what did they did that they, they, they turned it around? The public cannot tell us what to do. Even if today this DNA shows that that child is for Mubad, they have achieved something. They have achieved something. They, they are, the, 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 the whole process is being delayed because they are trying to buy time. They are still trying to cook up the, their stories. They are trying to cook up lies. They are trying to, to make sure they come up with something that, that they will use to uh, evade the public. From, um, bro, uh, I'm Amen. See you. See you. Me, bro, uh, see you. Uh, I'm just, you. Just, just a little bit. Let me just interject you. If, if she does the DNA and the DNA proves positive that the baby belongs to Mo, brother, you will see a lot of people. A lot of people we look other side and like, okay, let's try to see that is what they another are way to out do. of this because nobody will be able to crucify her anymore. She already free us from our mind and conscience. Like, okay, then what is next? Let us see what is why how did Mo buy. But that DNA, yeah, that DNA is a very good step. For her to exonerate herself, even if this test is done, right, they can still charge her for they can still charge him for conspiracy to murder. Well, like if if we do this test, me I will not charge, I, I will not blame my idea for the why of murder. I will take my hand away from why. Was will, she not there when the whole thing was happening? Why will yeah, you bro, blame her? Was she not there when the whole thing was happening? Her, she was out. The DNA test is what I want. She did not report herself to the station. Was she not there when the whole thing was happening? If we have a problem, if we have a problem, if she had reported herself to the station, it would have been a different case. She did not report herself. So if there is a case of manslaughter, even if they are trying to come through the nose, there is a case of manslaughter. And then if every person that is around around here will also go down for the for, for conspiracy for that same, same offense. And the punishment is the same as committing the manslaughter yourself. So there is no escape route. There is nothing that they are doing that can that, that they can use to go scot free. It's not even possible. Why is she holding on to the, not doing the DNA test? Why? why is she holding on? Yeah. Why is she holding on? Why is she not doing it? If the entire family, if they are trying to cover their ass, if they are trying to cover their house, if they are ass, all of them together, I, I think that's, that's what they are trying to do. Okay, now let me ask you, see how right. Somebody who what is about this, uh, you, joyful, you, don't you think that, 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 that baby, if you don't know what manslaughter means, it's, it's the lesser uh, uh, it's, uh, offense to yeah, it's that's like immediate murder. Uh, if you kill somebody murder, intentionally, yeah, it is murder. If you kill somebody unintentionally, it's manslaughter. Yeah, I know, I know. No, I'm just saying to somebody on the conversation. See, see, let me ask you. Don't you think, for me, for me, I have this belief that that baby is mobile. DNA is a family secret. I think. I believe Within, that me, I believe that that baby might be most baby. I, uh, but there is, there is a reason me, why I'm, I'm telling you something, right? Even if that baby is from Mubad, it does not exonerate her. The fact that she does, she did not report the situation, it does not exonerate her. They started talking about his issue from show, carrying somebody on top bike for for a bridge that nobody saw a dead body. That how how will you how, how can you even carry somebody that is dead on top bike or for, on on a bridge that nobody uh, see you there when the body will be stiff? There is the first talk about hospital and all of that. So all these ones, if if you are if maybe for example this whole thing did not come out. That is how the matter would have ended. That's how the matter would have ended. 
So nobody can be exonerated. It's not even possible. They have so many contradictory statements. Uh, who is this person? What did uh, Faye came here on the on on comment section? I think you should go and find who your parents actually are. Go and do DNA to know who your parents are. And I don't think you are Nigeria. And if it comes to anything with respect to doing the right thing, I don't mind words. So go and check whether you are a product of mistake. Or if you are even in Nigeria, or if you are even in Nigeria. These people are they, they, they are just the way I will always say. Let, let's see where the best of the best comes in the Nigerian police. Let's see how they want to ignore the proper investigations in this case. And then come and tell us whether even a secondary school student, if, if, if this kind of a case is presented to a secondary school student, I'm telling you, a secondary school student will crack up this case. It's very, very glaring and very obvious. And then as much as people are looking, are, are, being, are concentrating, thinking maybe this issue of DNA is just with respect to the, the uh, uh, implicating the mother. That is not it. It goes far beyond. Because it could be a delay tactic. If you get up tomorrow to tell us you want to do it, why have you not done it all this while? Who is having a personal issue with you? If any person is having a direct personal issue with you that you're saying they pay, you're not going to do because you are trying to get back at the person, you are trying to punish the person, it's, it's different. Do you think the public have any pers anything personal with you? Anytime you do the DNA, we know that, okay, I'm telling you, Leslie, if she, anytime she decides to do this DNA by herself, watch out and see the new story that will come out. Watch out and see how they will unfold a, 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 a kind of, uh, a, 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 like a very much planned story to, a, to cover this whole thing up. They have already yeah, contradicted yes. themselves a lot. Exactly. And, exactly. And, and since they have done that, they are looking for a way to adjust it. Yeah. You see, let me ask you, eh? you see, eh? what I want to, I want me to explain to me is that when Mo died, how fast could they measure him and get a cloth to wear for him? How do they know? How did they get the clothes? How many hours did he take the tailor to sew that cloth? If you're telling me that he died on Tuesday, and you saw that clothes the same day. Who was the tailor that did it? Where is the receipt of where you did Where did you go and buy it? All those stuff, we need it. So that we know the day you did that clothes and put it on him. Because everything was pre-planned. Exactly. Everything That's because was. everything was pre-planned. So yeah. Maybe they buy it. Did they, they buy it? Can we analyze something? Yeah. To see these guys, they are, they are lying. There are some lies here. Now, let's talk about that cloth that you brought, that you brought in now. No, I want to use Mubarak father. That is, uh, we have to do some work here, okay? Yes, let the brain function. It may seem somehow, but let us use it now. Let's, let, 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 let's let the brain work. I want to assume that Mubarak father is a constant. Let's assume him to be innocent. The presumption is that he's innocent. Let's go with his words. But when, when his words is no longer making sense, then we can challenge his words. We can say, now. it doesn't seem that, that what he's saying is the truth. That's how you test for what, whether something is correct or not. You assume that it is correct, but when you prove it, if it's not correct, then it means that it was wrong. That's why it's not correct. <laughs> so now, yes, my father, my father, no, it's mathematics, and I'm trying to do simple mathematics, like what a problem. So now, my father said that it was after the mug rejected the body that the intention was never to bury Mobad, was to go to the station, okay, then to put the body in the mug. Then after the mug rejected the body, that was when the, the plan to bury started. Okay, now, we don't know, let me say 3 p.m. they were in the station, maybe 4, 4, about 4, 4 a, 3 a.m. they were in the station, 3 to 4, 5 a.m., I think they were in the mug, something like that, okay. So now, are they saying that they start because according to him, Mubad was still wearing like a t-shirt. The garment that we saw on Mubad, he said when he came there, 
that garment was not on Mubarak. That's what the man said. So at what point did they want to sew that cloth? Who went to sew that cloth? It will only make sense if all those planning started about 4 a.m. on Wednesday in the morning. But if they had if they had had that garment down, okay, then going to the police station was just an excuse. They already planned to have him buried. Do you guys understand? I mean, where I'm coming from. I understand this? you. Very I'm, well. understand. I'm going with you. I'm with you. Yes. I'm going with you, bro. So it means that they must have been, they must have agreed either before they leave the house that they are taking him maybe to go and bury. If it's not to go and bury, but again, right, they are all covering something. That is why we are not knowing the real truth because nobody want, nobody is completely innocent. I don't know. Nobody. Nobody wants to say something that will affect everybody. That's what I'm seeing here. Okay? They are saying things that, that will make everybody go a little bit go scot free. That's why they can't petition each other. They are saying what we kind of make everybody go scot free. So, the garment they are where? trying to buy time. When was it sold? And who ordered for it? And what time? When did you call the tailor? And, and who is the tailor? Who the cloth on Mubad? Oh, on Mubad. Where is the receipt of the payment of everything? In short, they never know anything. They talk. Legal team now not get work to do. And then the the girl, is it the, the wife of Mubad mother? The wife of Mubad, the Mubad father said that. I mean, that dirty statement, that thing that she uttered, that. Uh, when they asked about what, why was the neck broken, he said it was uh, when um, they lifted it, they anointed it. When they placed it back, then the neck was bent. Ah uh ah -uh. uh -uh. If she's not there, she should not just speak because we can see that the casket is small. Let me see if I have that picture. It's a little bit sorry. Uh, let me see. So. Like, I mean, oh, let me step from here. No, we all we all, we all have watched that picture when Mubad was in the casket. So, a casket that was short. Are they saying that as long as Mubad was in that casket, then Mubad would already be been bent now? The only way you can tell us that they raised the head, it is if the head and everything was straight in the casket, but the casket was small. So that God does not even make sense at all. Then it means it must be that she's hiding something. For her to come out and boldly say that it, that the neck bent because when they rest up and pray on it and put it back, then it becomes bent. I don't understand. That's why we try hard that we should have private investigator to investigate this thing. They play us, play us, play us, play us. They kick that idea out. As I'm talking to you now, we don't have private investigator in this case. We brought that suggestion because the private investigator is going to investigate everybody, including Baba. Every, everybody, but Baba. Technically, that's why I said Gurens is playing game. These are the beautiful things that we discussed here. They will say no church. They will say we are on it. Like play, like play. They throw it out. Say my way, we don't come cobbles. I get out. <laughs> that garment that I don't really think I think they have they must have planned about the garment that Mubad wore that white garment they must have planned it either probably before the before even the man came or before they leave that house. Mubad might have died since Monday and everything would have been ready. You see the, the story and the situation the story is not like the event is not matching with the time. Like the timing is a little bit like it's not favoring the story. So the question exactly. they are not matching. They are not matching at all. It's not yes. coherence. It's not working. Exactly. It's not like aligning. It's not I don't know how to say it. It's not together. It's not balanced <laughs> at all. <laughs> it's like a script they are just taking from here and taking from here and bringing it together. Mubad so mother like came out. Mubad mother came out saying her own story. Okay. Like her own story too. It's not. Look at her story. Her story is that Mubad said that on one on a. That is after the show was on Sunday. 
So they will be returning back early Monday morning around 1 or 2 a.m. So Moba said that after the show, they will come and visit Mama Moba directly because Mama live in Ikorudu and Moba show was in Ikorudu. Moba live in Lekki. Okay? So now, after the show, Mama waited in the morning to just see them what happened. Ah. Then Mama called early in the morning and said something like that. They didn't pick. Mama called both of them again. He called women. He called Moba the Olympic. Mama said, after, maybe they drove home. Maybe they were sleeping. Maybe the show was so, like, maybe the show was so, you know, heated that maybe there was some hangover and stuff like that. So now, Mama didn't call again throughout that morning and waited. Afternoon, the, the woman was praying and even, she was, she, just was, she was fasting. So that fasting, it helps to establish the timing because the fasting was three, three hours. She said so. So she said, at the, but after 12 p.m., when she was praying the afternoon prayer, okay, like she had a revelation, okay, there was like a trance. She was like, after, like she was praying, she saw a bad image, like walk past her. One, I'm thinking, these are the areas you begin to suspect a person. This person, for, for, for her saying this, she's a suspect to me already, because I want to question more. I feel like she might be able to establish some more information. Because if if Mubad died that, that time and she went there that time, maybe this is her own story that they tell her. Tell, like, tell her that, why did you call? Okay? Then she will now form a story that, oh, I called because I, like, have a, like a dream, or maybe, no, have a trance. Because it's not a dream now. You know? If you dream, you, mean you can still call any time. But since you have the trance, then you call. Why did you call that immediately? Could it be that Mubad died around that time that that woman called, and the woman went there? So now, the woman said when she was praying, she saw the image of Mubad passed by her. And then she picked up her phone. She called Mubad again on Monday. Okay? That is 12 noon. She called and Mubad wasn't picking again. This time she called the wife and the wife picked. And then the mother asked her about everybody. How is the baby? How is the baby? How is Mubad, my son? How is my grandchild? And how, and how are you? Wumi responded, listen, that everyone is fine. The woman asked a technical question. Did you sleep close to my son last night? <laughs> Did you guys sleep together? <laughs> what did Mama has fucked up. Mama, she has cut everything out. Did you guys sleep together? Because now, she's like having some reasons why she's asking, she's interrogating. Okay, when she left there on Saturday, they were friendly. They took couples were not, they were not fighting. They were fine. Did mama hear that they fight, that they quarrel? Did mama hear that? That they quarrel throughout the way they go? She has to give us all this information. Why is it coming like to act as she's mediating? There was no fight when you left on Saturday, sorry mama. Okay, this idea of, did you guys both sleep together? Where are you getting it from? And then we will say yes, we slept together last. We slept together. I mean, last night, Mama. Um, we will ask Mama. Uh, Mama, did you hear anything? Okay. The response of women too is suspicious. Did you hear anything? This woman has given us this full information. With the with the testimony of this woman alone, women can women can be women can be detained. Women never corroborated this story. Women intentionally avoid. Talking about the call of Mubad mother in her citizen. Thank God the mother talked about it. We would not have known that the mother talked that there was even such thing that happened. We never talked about it. Never in any way, no way. So now, when we ask the mother, what, did you hear anything? The, mom, the mother said, eh, no. Then the woman said, can you go and give the phone to my son? Let me speak to him. <laughs> you, see, you see the mother, the true, the true mother love was displayed at that time. Can you please give the phone to my son? That's how most mother will give. Can you please give the phone to my son? Let me speak to him. She suspected something. What are we saying here? What are we saying here? Okay. And then we um, say no, 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 no. Uh, he had injury. Last show, uh, he was still sleeping. He won't be able to talk. And then the woman said, "Okay." She ended the call. And no, sorry. And we um, made promised to give her five million that same Monday. So then we um, quickly you start to calm her down. That ah, mama, we did not forget you. The morning stop that we talk about. When we bad wake up, we'll call you as soon as as soon as uh, possible. 
and um, we will fix that. Then Mama was, Mama relaxed. Then Mama said she went to her shop and did one or two things at about to 3 p.m. to 3. She prayed another 3 o'clock prayer. The first thing was on. After that prayer of 3 o'clock, she went to her shop, in her shop. She did whatever she has to do, okay? And she has not received any call yet from women. Then she placed the call back to know what's, what's going on. And this time, Umi was crying to her, Ah, Mama, be coming, oh. May God not let us see the death of our son, oh. May God not let us see the death of our husband, oh. Mama, be coming, oh. In Yoruba, ah, mama, Emma Bo, ah, and it should call, call, and and it should call more, ah, Emma Bo, mama, Emma Bo. Then mama said, please, mama said, immediately she had that, that she took her phone and she called the father, telling the father that they said we should come, we should go and meet somewhere. The story is not aligning. It's, something is missing. This is a Monday. Why did you bring the father? Why didn't you go to the street as a mother? Where did, they are trying to bring the father into the equation. That is a beautiful story to bring the father into the equation. I thought you guys said you did not agree to each other. I, I thought you guys said you are no longer together. I thought you used to go to Mubad house when you, whenever you want. At the time you went the last Saturday, you went by yourself. You stayed there 10 days and you came back. Okay, this time, why didn't you go? Mama has had that mobile has died before the father. <laughs> Bam. <laughs> Papa Rano, she was there on Monday. The mother was there on Monday. She knows already. Hey, what am I saying? Let me take what I'm coming. Yeah, go on. Let's pick up. Let's pick up. Let's pick up. The loner, you can go. Lona, the loner, go, go. We want to hear from you. Uh, Mickey, I'm quite busy now. You can, you guys can continue. I'll catch up. I'm listening. I'll catch up. Precious, anything from you? The precious is not there, okay. I will stand on my ground and say that uh, the, the mother of Mo knew on Monday everything. She already knew because as a mother, no matter how you are, you hit your child and they call you for that kind of emergency, you always go. That Monday, something happened on that Monday. Something happened greatly on that Monday, and everything was kept after. Calm down, Mama. Let us calm everything down and see what we will do today. Simple. Let us calm everything down and see what we will do today. Hey, Mickey, please let me add this to it, please. And as a mother, as a mother, every mother, no matter you are calling us. Kenny, Kenny, please mute. Kenny, mute. Kenny, mute. Every mother has a sign that his or her son is his face, face is in trouble. Every mother has that sign, and she got that sign on Monday. That was why she called. She was she was actually saying some part of the truth, but she was missing it up. She had the sign that something terribly terrible has happened to Mobad. That was why she called the wife. And the wife asked her, Mama, did you hear anything? <coughs> did you hear anything? And the truth is that Mama went to the house on Monday. And she knew that Muba died that on Monday. But they had to come up with a story. She has to come up with a story. But it's so sad that she, she has to... Ah, even a mad, even a mad woman who has a little son in her hand will not do that to that little.
be too be too shy. Talk more of of, of a grown up son like Mobad. It is so sad that she's she, she. I don't know how much they give to her, but I know that at the end they are going to do do away with her. They are going to do away with her. Let her allow the to continue. Papariano, uh, can you just, do we have any of their family members of this Mubaz family that no, 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 want no, no, no. to stand for justice, that no, no, no. can go except the father, the except the father. only the father, only the father. Yeah. Yeah. except the father, and what is, and that is here, and that one that is paining me is uh, the, the daughter, the first daughter, yeah. now, I don't understand why she just and Baba is not even bringing that energy to that. Like, let's come, you come and support. And you know, there's a lot of things that girl knows. I won't tell you, I will not lie to you guys. She has a lot to talk about in this case, but she's if she's just hiding, or Baba doesn't want her to come out, or the husband, maybe the husband, even though that husband. Is allowing this. In short, that husband, you, you, you are so anti justice because you are supposed to tell your wife to support his own father. If there's nothing wrong with Baba, then tell your wife, go and support your father. That's a good husband. If there's nothing wrong in between the, the father and the daughter, then the daughter should be able to come out and say, okay, look, I'm supporting my father. I'm coming to tell you guys what I know about this case. But no, she's dragging herself away. There must be something we are not. We are not. They are not telling us. We are in darkness, and they are playing also. I'm not telling us, bro. I'm tired. My brain is getting hot. Me, you see how the procedure is that they are not dragging blessings. Like see how Yamnika they went to protest. They are not dragging blessings. Exactly. They are not posting dragging like blessings. They are not posting blessings, husband. No, they are posting Yamnika the husband. Some fools are. Some fools are there shining it. Eh? When have they posted uh, blessings husband? When? when? Has Bukit is a post posted blessing husband? Nonsense. No, thank you. She, she, she knows how to drag chairman and uh, uh, people that are. You, you, you don't go. What about the husband of blessing? You're right, Papariano. Good one. I think this one, you can, if you can get across to Baba Mubad, ask him what was the procedure at the station. Was it that they were invited, they wrote a statement? and then they were released on bail that one i'm sure he knows if they were released on bail from that station i can assure you that i will facilitate a petition to the attorney general of lagos state to take over the case from that place or we can file a contempt proceeding against the police and I say content proceeding uh, an order for an order of mandamus against the police because if the police have arrested somebody for alleged of, uh, offense of murder, those people should have been arraigned before a competent court that will grant them bail pending the conclusion of investigation. So those people, these persons are not supposed to be walking freely as if there is nothing done. So maybe when the content proceedings start, and when the uh, proceeding for another Amanda must commence, the police will now appear before the court. And then tell why or how persons arrested for offense of murder were granted bail by the police. So if you can get that information, um, anyway, let us start to, from there. Um, are you saying that the whether the father was detained? Anyway, just to not make just it, not the, not just the father, right? We cannot know. Only a person only that went to the station will be able to know. No, no, so far, so far, so the far, family. So far, well, let, me, let, let us let us have this. Uh, I mean, let us have this established. So far. On the issue of Mobat death, on the issue concerning Mobat's death, there are only five suspects. And those five suspects include spending, nurse, 
prime boy naramali samlari do naramali samlari they are detained for, for assault but the police mentioned in their preliminary report that they are also investigating them for a possible conspiracy in the of mobad so we have only five persons so far detained by the police who the police has granted administrative bail and police have not charged them to court because the investigation is still on police have not round up in the investigation they don't have sufficient evidence with them already to transfer the matter to the court of law where proceeding can now start so the father was never among the suspect the wife was never among the suspect um, but that didn't mean that recently the father went to station on a different case of defamation of Obaile Gushi and he was detained and he was given administrative bail on a different offense concerning Obaile Gushi. But as, as, um, as far as Mubad death is concerned, Mubad death today, there are, there are only three vital suspects spending, prime boy, and the nurse. There is no other suspect in Mubad's death. And in the investigation has not been concluded yet. That's why they are not yet sent to the court. Okay. But I think the uh, order the of process that you're going about, to the court, right, mm -hmm. is not for trial. The process I'm talking about for going to court is not for the trial of the offense. It is for can the court. Speak, court. Can you please speak? Can you please speak? I said the, the court uh, proceeding I'm talking about is not trial for the uh, main case, that's the alleged murder. It is for the court to be the uh, appropriate authority to grant bail to any person arrested in connection with this case as the case is a case of alleged murder it is not the police that is supposed to grant bail that is why the law does not make provision that where a suspect is detained at the station and has uh, let's say a, a health issue challenge and is detained for a capital offense then if the police does not have the facility to treat they should release him on bail that is why they, they talk about the, the the detention facility the prison so since it is a murder case for a normal case that is not a capital case right if you get arrested the police can release you on bail pending conclusion of investigation but if it is a capital case it is not the police that is supposed to release you on bail the police will arraign you before a magistrate who will release you on bail pending the actual charge at the high court. Before the judge, before I think the before, the judge, Lagos, before the state, the judge of, the state, of, uh, the, judge of uh, the state high court, not magistrate. No, you don't understand. Now, there is what we call a remand proceedings. Mm. It's a situation where you know you arrested this person, but you can't conclude this investigation with this the constitutionally stipulated time of 24 to 48 hours. There, you approach the court for the court to issue an order 14 days for you to be able to remand the uh, suspect in the police custody without it being constitutionally 